So again, I'm starting on the tail. Is there a, a ridge at the end of that tube? Yeah, that's where the hook retainer that's where the hook slides on. Is there a ridge where you're tying now? No. To stop the thread from going from... No. I've down? just tied back onto it itself. That's enough to keep it where it yeah. belongs. So all I'm doing is a um, nice bit of fluoro there. Use a nice uh, piece of marabou. And we'll take the uh, thread part of the way up the line, uh, up the tube. And what we'll do is snip off some of the excess from the rear. And we'll just take this on, pulling down as we go. And this pattern you'll see on both hooks and on um, tubes. This one was sent to uh, us by uh, April Vokey. Hmm? We were just talking about April. Uh, yeah, she does a show on. Yeah, she is. Okay. I can, uh, she's actually working with us, but I can tell you a very, very funny story. Um, with the fly fishing business, the um, flies, um, we had a customer phone up and my wife was talking to him and he was being a bit of a prat. And um, she had a long chat with this guy and sorted all the, his uh, issues out. And um, got quite friendly with him, and uh, they got talking about fishing, and she said, well, send me a photo. You know, we put customers' photos on the website. So he sent her this photo saying he caught this king salmon with a bead head, and my wife looked at me and said, he's being daft. I said, oh, he's just messing you about. She said, I'll get him. I'll send her a photo of me. She said, right, Lady Anglers goes onto the web, does a search, Hey, there's this gorgeous blonde. I'm going to send him that photo. For Christ's sake, don't send that photo. She knew I was talking to April Vokey, but at that time she didn't know who he, she is. She now knows. Mm. Mm. What is that I'm just tying in another piece of marabou here. Sorry. Um, it's a lighter shade. Yep, I'm, I'm tying in three different shades of uh, marabou to build a popsicle. And you know this is just named after the old lollies. Popsicle lollies. Hmm? I'll have to translate that. Lollipops, ice creams. Yeah. So, again. Yeah, probably. I mean, the pop school now is uh, available in so many different colours. Yeah, many one other than the original ones. Yeah. <laughs> Again. We'll just tie off. Oh, that wasn't clever. Yeah. 
Hmm? Kit Crass, Rick, commercially, what's a kit worth? Which one? The kit that is available for sale this weekend in Calgary. <laughs> For that, you get 30 tubes, 30 heads, so you've got 900 variations of uh, fly. So you could go $2 a throw and tie 900. So we'll tie one last piece of marabou in. Or if you just want to try it out, you can buy a stack of tubes and pack cones. It's literally like Meccano. You can uh, get as much or as little as you like. We were showing this at Wholesale Sports, and the assistant manager there says, Oh, geez, I don't know, even 20 bucks is quite a bit just to try out a couple of lives. And he said, Well, that's about the same price as two crankings. Two cheap ones. He's all of a sudden like Meccano. If we wanted, we could have put a couple of uh, wings in there, but um, put a bit more flashaboo. That's enough there. You see, great, great thing with this stuff, you can just turn and turn and turn. And no build up. That denier doesn't really build up much. No, that just spun. Yeah, it was me. Does it have a tendency to do that? No. No, it's. Um, Very rare it does. So. And that's our popsicle.